As you look in the open case here, where the motherboard is about to go, you'll notice some standoffs that have already been put in. One right there, 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 and there. Okay, so we have a total of six standoffs. Now, the, uh, the motherboard uh, also came with them, uh, but it looks like we won't need them. We can already use what's in here. And if there's any that we don't need, then we'll just remove them. But that is the area that the motherboard is going to go into. And those are the standoffs that we'll be using. That way the motherboard isn't just touching bare metal. Now is the time to place the motherboard into the case. And what I want to point out again is the standoffs that are already here. And we're going to look at the motherboard here for a second and take a look at what we need. Now, we know, I'm just going to kind of place the motherboard in here for a second. We know this is how the motherboard needs to sit because here are the back panel connectors, which are going to come through this back panel right here. So, we can see a standoff here and a hole here. Uh, stand off here and a hole in the motherboard there. There's two holes there. Now you don't have to use all the holes, um, but you know they're there if we need them. So let's see. Do we have a standoff underneath that one? We do. So it seems like, yeah, this will work out really nicely. We're going to use these six bottom holes in the motherboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to carefully place on place them on top. And you know what? Okay, yeah, I'm going to want some other standoffs up here too. Um, it's hard. It's probably hard for you to see, but you can see that it's rocking here. So we we are going to need another standoff. And that's okay because we have them. Some extra standoffs came here with the motherboard. So we just open this up. And you know, this is going to be different for every motherboard, every case. Um, so you really just need to analyze what you have going on and make sure to put things in the right place. You don't want the motherboard to rock. You never want to. The reason you don't want that, you never want to risk bending the motherboard and cracking it. Um, so it's right here that we need another one. Right back here. And it's going in pretty well. Yeah, I can get that in all the way. Perfect. If it's too hard, you can... Um, take some pliers to it and turn it as well, but I could do it with just finger strength. Now the reason it was rocking, it was sitting on these six, but I wanted to go this way. I might need a stand up. I'm going to put stand ups there too. So I think this is where they all need to be. And I'm placing it back in. Okay, so it's going to sit like that. If I push in all these points, I can see that. Whoops. That's not supposed to do that. Hmm. Uh, well, the motherboard definitely shouldn't have been like that. Um, seems like all the screw holes still aren't lining or sitting flush against the standoffs. So let me do something for a second. Oh, that's what's going on. This this guy here just seems to be a little bit taller than all the other ones. 
which is why it was kind of rocking back and forth a little bit. This one is taller than this one and this one, which was creating an issue. Okay, so yeah, we're going to replace this one with this smaller one. I know it's kind of hard for the, the camera to see right now, but this is the one we're going to put in. Now we'll be good. Now everything is going to sit nice and flat for us. The reason I thought we needed these back here was because it was wobbling, but the problem was this one was a lot taller, um, which was making it do that. So let's just take these out real quick. I swear it's not really this hard, but you know, sometimes you just got to try something and then if it doesn't look right, you just change it. No problem. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is put in the back panel trim because once we put the motherboard in, we want the back panel connectors to go through it. You can see on this side there's some writing on it. And that most likely means it needs to go that way. And uh, this side is padded. So, let's make sure to look at the motherboard for a second. Okay. That way I know which way to orient this. And basically what this does is just clips in. So you kind of just push. Take a quick look, make sure it's seated correctly, it's all the way in. Nice. Now we can put the motherboard back in. find our standoffs and then what you'll notice is when you're trying to push it towards your standoffs we're actually going to be pushing the back panel connectors in let me switch this around for you apologize you don't have the greatest view right now but right here you'll kind of see these pop in there we go Cool. Okay. Swing this back around. And now let me get my motherboard screws. It's these right here. Um, by the way, a lot of these screws look similar. Um, you know, one's a flat head for the motherboard. Um, the ones that are round head, rounded, are for um, the hard drives and uh, if you're a little confused about that just make sure to look at your documentation that's what I did just to make sure I was getting it right okay so now I'm gonna take this screw and put them in so what you're doing is you're actually screwing into the back, or I should say maybe the top side of those standoffs. And I'm not screwing them in really tight with anything like this. Just get them started. You don't want to round them. So I want to just get them started nice and easily. And I'm going to go around and put them all in first and then we can go back around and do them a little tighter and I'm putting a little pressure kind of pushing it towards the back of the computer just to line these holes up a little bit better because the input output back panel that has all the holes for our connectors um, has a little bit of padding on it, so it kind of wants to push back on you, so just kind of giving it a gentle nudge so that all these holes are lined up.
Okay, I got them all in. And this is again something just kind of stop until you get decent amount of resistance. You know, this is a this is your motherboard. You don't want to crack it. Um, you don't need to over tighten them. Just hand tight, but I think you'll know when to stop. Okay, so that's it. So we've got our motherboard in the case, and now we'll move on to putting in the other components.